The basic goal of the Wind Forecast Improvement Project is to reduce the cost of wind energy for consumers. And the way that we're going to do that is by improving our forecasts of wind. I'm the Renewable Energy Project Manager and the lead for the research uh, in renewable energy for NOAA. Funded by the Department of Energy, the Wind Forecast Improvement Project is a 12-month research project to demonstrate that with additional meteorological measurements, measuring the wind speed in places where we aren't currently measuring it, that NOAA can actually provide a more accurate forecast of winds particularly in the part of the atmosphere where the wind turbines reside. We're pooling, you know, the Department of Energy and NOAA and experts from the private sector who really are on the ground trying to get more wind energy used in the United States. And NOAA's um, role here really builds on our unique long-term expertise in meteorology and taking measurements of the atmosphere and making predictions of weather. The stronger the wind blows, the more wind power wind turbines produce and <coughs> grid operators have to know exactly how much uh, power is being produced on the system by all of their generators including renewable energy sources such as wind energy. So for example if you know that the wind is going to be blowing very strong for a long period of time then the grid operators will know that they can turn more of their conventional power plants offline and save money by doing that. We're going to be uh, deploying a, a, a suite of different types of sensors, both remote sensors and more conventional types of sensors. And we'll be deploying them in two different uh, study areas, one in the upper Midwest, in uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, and another in Texas. Uh, the main type of sensors will be wind profiling radars. And these wind profiling radars provide uh, the, uh, measurements of the wind speed uh, profile. So it's basically um, the same type of measurements that you could get if you had a, a tall tower that was instrumented, except instead of the tower going up to 200 or 300 feet, these uh, remote sensing wind profiling radars are like having a tower that goes up to five miles. And so once we get this data, what we're going to be doing with it is uh, simulating it into a research weather forecast model that is run here in our laboratories at NOAA and Boulder. And um, what we mean by assimilation is we use that data to describe what the initial state of the atmosphere is, where the weather fronts are, how strong the winds are, are blowing, uh, what the temperature patterns are. And if we can describe the initial state of the atmosphere in the model, uh, well, then the models make better forecasts. And all of this has the ultimate goal of reducing the cost of electricity for all citizens. The Wind Forecast Improvement Project goes directly to something that President Obama said in his 2011 State of the Union, that a goal for the United States is 80% clean energy by 2035. There's no energy cleaner than wind, and if we can show how that can be done together with our partners in industry, that really helps in the President's goal.